Do you remember Christmas when you were a kid, when your parents were teasing you this amazing present that they got you, saying you're gonna love it, and it's so expensive, and it's what you've always wanted, and then you get to the day, you open up the present, and it's a pair of socks. Aww. Yeah, that's Sorex at Six Flags this year. Welcome back to Tina Talk, Scares Worth Reviewing. I'm Tina and I've been obsessed with these haunted house attractions my entire career. So when I heard that Sorex was coming to Six Flags this year, I lost my mind. I am such an avid fan of Saw, as you can probably see. <laughs> but that excitement turned into disappointment very quickly. You know what? Let's just watch. Oh, what is that? Are there any actors in this? There's an actor. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Where is everyone? Oh my god. What is what is the point of this corridor? Wait, 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 wait. Was that a screaming goat? Did you hear that? <laughs> That's it? Wait, is that, is that seriously... Is that all they got? Oh my god, we have a lot to talk about. So before I get into the bits and pieces of this maze, I should just say first and foremost that I did not expect this from Six Flags. They have other mazes that actually have really good sets and really good actors, so I don't understand why Sorex came out the way it did. So mazes like, you know, The Conjuring, Truth or Dare, Condemned, yeah, they're not like Halloween Horror Nights worthy. Ooh. Sorex just kind of trailed behind. <laughs> There is a massive absence of actors in this maze. I don't know whether it was the end of the night or everyone was off sick or... I don't know, I don't understand what happened. So this maze sort of reads as more of a museum style attraction than anything that's meant to scare you. You do have the guys popping out in the pig masks, but what, that happens like a couple of times? It doesn't happen every time. And you can see the areas where the actors are meant to come out of and no one's there. Not only that, but you can actually see into the behind the scenes area, including the roof. You can see the tent roof, you can see how blue it is, it's all been lit up. I don't understand why they did that. I mean, dim the lights guys, dim the lights. Go away, fuck it, so the reason why I'm really passionate about these sorts of mazes dimming their lights and creating that environment is because it's a really easy way to hide the fact that it's a fake set. The little bits like where the tape is or where the colouring on the walls is. The lighting helps disguise some of the crappy things going on. And did you hear that goat scream? I had no idea Taika Waititi was actually directing this. If you're gonna scream, make it at least guttural. And here's another top tip for scare actors. When you come out of your scare zone, don't stay there. 
It's super awkward. You've scared someone, now you just stand there staring at them. I mean, it's one thing to do it without a mask on, because then maybe you can have a reaction, you can have an emotion on your face and play with the customers. But these guys are in masks. So you come out of your scare zone, and you stand there, just staring at people. You look like a mannequin. Scare, run back. Scare, run back. It's a constant thing that has to keep happening. But out of all the actors in the maze, I really do have to commend the two guys that were in the bathroom scene. They're using dialogue, they're moving along the floor. You can tell that when a new group comes in, they reset and go back to their original spot. That's what you should be doing. I have to see my family! So in those first two rooms, it would have been really good to actually see them act out the scenes from the latest movie. You could have had a nurse behind the desk in the waiting room, welcoming you, the customer, as John Kramer, really investing the story and putting it into the customer. But there was no one there to introduce you to the scene or to the world of Saul. And then you have the next scene where they're meant to be doing the surgery. Why couldn't they have someone dressed as John Kramer on that table? Why couldn't they have a couple of nurses coming at you with tools or something? Help me! Help me! Whew, I really gotta calm down right now. So I'm going to do a little experiment here with this because I noticed during the watch that there's no audio whatsoever. I mean, you've got the scream <coughs> and a couple of bang noises and things, but there's no music. There's no extreme noise to throw you off your feet. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you a little snippet of what it could be like with a bit of sound. Now do you see how much more immersive that is? How much more exciting that is? Saw has one of the best themes out there. Thank you, Charlie Clouser. You are welcome. So this maze was actually marketed as a Saw X maze for the new movie that was just released. I mean, we have what, two traps from the new movie right at the end? The order it goes, Saw X, then there's a room from Saw 1, 5, 2, 1 again, Jigsaw, Saw 3, and then Saw 1 again, and then we have the two traps from Saw X. I'm so confused. What is this maze? Look, I try not to be too mean when I do these reviews. It's just sometimes when you see a big place like Six Flags cutting corners and not realizing what a scare zone is, even an opportune moment to use a noise or a sound or makeup, it bothers me because it's not like they don't have any money. Now, I've worked in smaller mazes myself before, mazes that people have just made with their own two hands with very limited budget and we were still able to do a very good performance. Six Flags doesn't have an excuse. So I'm really sorry to all the actors that got stuck with the roles in the Sorex maze this year. They could have done you guys justice, but unfortunately it fell short. I can't blame actors entirely in this industry, because like I said, it's everything that comes together. It's like when you see a really bad movie, and the acting is pretty damn good, but it looks like it's been filmed on a potato. Well, why would you pay money for that? So perhaps you're watching this video because you've either seen the maze or you're even in it. So what is your experience with this? And I'd really love to hear it from the actors especially. What was your experience like working in this maze? So did you like the maze? Were you scared? Were you satisfied? Let me know in the comments down below. I really want to know more about this maze. I'm just really bothered by this one. <laughs> what can I say? I'm. I'm passionate. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one where hopefully we're gonna talk about some good things. <laughs> Happy Halloween guys.